Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to obtain every single parasternal short axis view. Parasternal short axis views are obtained from the parasternal window. The patient has to lie down in left lateral decubitus position with the left arm next to the head. To obtain any parasternal short axis view, the first thing you have to do is place the transducer in the third to fourth left intercostal space near the sternum, with the index marker pointing the patient's right shoulder. Then, rotate the transducer 70 to 110 degrees clockwise. From this position, you are going to be able to obtain all the different short axis views. Here, I'm showing you how to rotate the probe to obtain the different short axis views. Just rotate the probe clockwise until you're able to see any parasternal short axis views. Normally, the first view you will find is the short axis view at the papillary muscle level. The first view I'm going to show you is the parasternal short axis view at the papillary muscle level. You can obtain this view in two simple steps. First, find your parasternal long axis view and then rotate the transducer clockwise and you're going to be able to get the parasternal short axis view at the papillary muscle level. The next view is the parasternal short axis view at apical level. To obtain this view, place yourself at the parasternal short axis view first, and then you are going to angulate the transducer superiorly. And this way, you're going to be able to get the short axis view at the apical level. Another very important view is the parasternal short axis view at the mitral valve level. Again, to obtain this view, you have to place yourself in your parasternal short axis view first. And from this position, you have to angulate the probe inferiorly until you are able to see the mitral valve leaflets. And the last view is the parasternal short axis view at the great vessels level. To obtain this view, you have to find your parasternal short axis view first. From this position, you are going to angulate the transducer even more inferiorly until you are able to see the aortic valve. Here I'm showing you the prof movements to obtain the different short axis views from the apex to the great vessels. All you have to do is angulate the probe superiorly and inferiorly to obtain the different short axis views at different levels. I really hope you can find this video useful, don't forget to subscribe and see you on another video, bye!